All right, guys. Thanks for clicking on the video today. We're gonna do a little review on my uh, Scott Archery Little Goose Two. And if you could uh, like, subscribe, and leave a comment below, tell me what uh what release you use and why you use it. Let's get a little discussion going down there. I know a lot of you guys that watch my videos are, you know, longtime bow hunters. Most of y'all better than me. So let's get a little discussion going. You know, talk talk to each other help each other out a little bit so uh yeah let's get into it and uh it's got a new slim down compact outdoor green colored design it's got a leather wrist strap with some neoprene padding here for comfort it's uh you can get it in camo or black And it just kind of loops in here, just slides in, regular like belt buckle, just like a lot of releases. And it just kind of loops in here, real easy, nothing to it, just like that. Alright, so it's got a solid swivel connector here, and then it's got a couple adjustments here for uh, like finger length from your, your palm here, your wrist to your... Uh, trigger finger so it's just a 332nd allen wrench just gonna put it in here loosen this little set screw loosen that up and you can slide this up and down see as easy as that I'm gonna put it back down here in the bottom because that's set for me And uh, just get it set. And there's that. All right. It's also got a forward position knurled trigger design. What that means is like uh, it's just a machining process here on the trigger. That's what knurled means. It's just uh, it's got some texture to it. It's not just a smooth trigger. And uh, it's got a patented angle jaw design for better string clearance. And now the next adjustment here is pretty cool. This is the uh, travel trigger adjustment. And it's, uh, if you can see it here, it's this little guy right in there. It's, uh, what it is, is there's a roller sear inside the trigger. Uh, you can set it really light. Uh, you can make it like a hair trigger if you want. You want it really touchy. I got it pretty touchy if you watch right here. Just barely touch it. And it just goes off. I like it pretty touchy. And uh, this is a 0 .050 set screw, so like 50 thousandths Allen head. And uh, when this is in the closed position, the screw will butt up against your roller, not letting your triple track go as far forward. Uh, it's hitting your set screw quicker, basically what it means. So if you want more travel, so if you want, if you don't want it set so, so hairy, or like set it so fast, you take this screw, this little set screw, and you just put it in more. Mine's set almost all the way out, so that's that's why it's so touchy. But if I just want to set it farther in, I'll just turn it in more and show you. Check this out. Watch how far down this thing's going. So now, watch how far this thing's got to travel before it fires. See that? It's not so touchy no more. It's got to go farther, farther. Let's see how far we can make it go. Right, that's about it. I don't want to strip it. If you see, I'll go slow. So it's going all the way down. Let me get it better for you. So it's going all the way down here now. Look how far that's got to travel now. Now it's starting to open. It's starting to open. I'll go. I'll go fast. So I'm. 
Now let me loosen it back up and show you how I like it. I like it so this sucker's almost sticking out. Gotta make sure I don't make it come out. Alright, that's about how I like it right there. Now watch this. I just barely touch it. So, uh, so if you if you screw it in, the farther you screw it in, the more travel speed, the more travel you have. And uh, basically, what it does is you move the trigger farther to make it fire. You know, so if you if you want it kind of, they say they say hairy in the video on the on the website. So if you want it real touchy, like I like it pretty touchy. This might need not even as like that's not even as much as I like it. Let me loosen it up a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. So if you want a little hair, you just back that screw out, and what it does is it just it just it hits that roller quicker, that roller sear quicker, and it decreases that travel. Makes your release fire just that much quicker. Um, so you got you got quite a bit of adjustability here. You know you can adjust the length. You know the the trigger travel, but uh, you can't adjust the tension on the little goose too. If you want to adjust the tension, you're gonna have to go look at the uh, the Echo and the Talon, and I'll drop their pictures and prices right now. Alright guys, this is the uh, Little Goose 2 here from Scott Archery. Uh, thanks for clicking on the video, and uh, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the woods.